I-recap ko lang yung introduction natin or definition natin ng combinational circuit. So, combinational circuit consists of logic gates. They are interconnected logic gates na ang ginagamit na input para ma-define yung output ay yung present. Halimbawa yan, so meron tayong y, ibig sabihin, para magkaroon ng y, para magkaroon ng output y, kailangan niya yung input ni ABC. Ibig sabihin, kapag nagbago si input A, yung value ni B, o kaya yung value ni C, magbabago rin yung output ni Y. So, every time na may pagbabago dito, nagbabago rin sa output Y. Yun yung tinatawag na combinational circuit. So, meron tayong ibang klase ng circuit, yung sequential circuit na may discuss natin soon, wherein, hindi ganito. Kasi ito, yung circuit na to is combinational circuit. Si sequential circuit kasi, meron siyang para magkaroon ng output, kailang hihintayin niya yung output dito, magiging panibagong input siya ng circuit. Ganon. But it will be discussed. So, yun lang. Isipin nyo lang na si combinational circuit ay kapag nagbago yung mga values ng input na nandito sa input, magbabago din agad yung values ni Y. So, dito na tayo sa combinational circuit design procedure intro. Oh, as of this time, ano na ba yung mga natutunan nyo sa logic circuits and design? So, I believe Uh, hindi man natin masyadong na-discuss yung binary numbers, binary codes. Dati nyo nang alam yan, kaya hindi ko na rin siya kinover sa topic natin since sobrang dami yung coverage ng course na ito. At uh, from pasukan, we already learned Boolean Algebra. Diba? Na-introduce sa inyo yung Boolean Algebra. And that's a way to express logic functions tulad ng ibang, iba't ibang law and theorems na yan. And you already learned how to simplify Boolean functions using gate minimization, K-map, at kung paanong makakatulong yung simplification to achieve economical or simpler gate implementations with the use of gate minimizations and or K-map. So, combinational circuits are usually ginagamit siya sa pag-design ng digital systems. At meron nga yung tinatawag na standard components, tulad ng mga ano, tulad ng mga to. These are examples of combinational circuits. Ito, si adder, multiplexer, comparator, encoder, decoder, marami pang iba, which are Sometimes, ang components na to are available sa medium scale integration circuits o tinatawag siyang MSI. They are also used as standard cells in complex, very large scale integration circuit o yan yung tinatawag na VLSI solutions para sa application specific integrated circuits or ASICs na maginagamit sa mga appliances, sa digital devices, other applications. Dito na tayo sa pagde-design. So, bakit ba natin pinag-aralan yun? Mga yun, yung mga natutunan na natin. Kasi gagamitin natin yan into different design procedures. Ano ba yung procedure in the designing of digital circuits? So, first, We need to know the specification. Ano ba yung gusto nating mangyari? Ano ba yung function ng gagawin natin? At kapag sinabing i-define natin yung specification, we are referring into ilan ba yung number of input na kailangan natin? Ilan ba yung number of output na kakailanganin nung gagawin nating uh, design or gagawin nating circuit? After defining the specification, we need to derive the truth table. So, from that function, we can define or derive the truth table. Kasi meron na tayong input, alam na natin kung ilan yung number ng input, ilan yung number ng output. I-derive na natin yung truth table. We can now obtain the simplified Boolean function. ba diba? gan naman, after the truth table, malalaman natin yung Boolean function niya. And after the Boolean function, we can simplify it through ano? using k-mapping and the boolean simplification. So, after natin ma-obtain yung simplified boolean function, we are now ready to draw the logic diagram. And after drawing the logic diagram, we verify the correctness of the design. After introducing to you the design procedure, I think we are now ready to design a combinational circuit. So, thank you for watching.